Aloha. Welcome to paradise. Aiea, Hawaii, just outside of Honolulu and the home of the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors. A tremendous setting and a spectacular game that we have in store. We believe we've got a great one in store today, and we've got a team that makes it into the top 25. Now when you go on the road, that's when you prove you belong. Kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. He'll start the return inside his five. And the coverage team able to wrestle him down. So Hawaii's return team certainly didn't do the offense any favors there. And there's a man who believes he is always open. He carries that swag and that aura of a big time playmaker, guys. He's got to catch the football. If you're the quarterback coming into this one, you are looking for this guy early, and David, you're looking for him often. And this offense better find ways to feature him. Find him, like you said, Jesse, early, often, deep, shallow. Get this man the football. Fighting off the defender. That may not look like a huge run, but they'll take it as it gets him up to the 24. They'll try to drive ahead on third and short. Brought to the ground, but not before getting it up for the first down. And I think on that last run play on third down here early in the game, they're making a statement that we believe we're the more physical team. We're going to run the football, even if you know it's coming at you. Nice job. They've got the ball at midfield. I expect to see more run plays coming up. Softened him up with a run. Now to throw. And he dropped it. Just didn't look the thing all the way in. After the incompletion, it's second and ten from their own 25. They try to pop a run on the draw. Picks up a useful five-yard chunk out to the 30-yard line. This is where you make the money on the drive. Ball at the 30th, third and short. Looking left. That is just a sideline credit. Throw, catch, toe drag, everything you want. And they just want to give this guy a chance to make a play on third down. And more times than not, he is going to deliver. He's so good, so efficient, such a good route runner. Got the speed, got the complete game. So you definitely want to. And he can't escape, and down he goes. The pocket broke down, and the quarterback had to take the sack. Really impressed by this pass rush, Reese. Just guys winning their individual battles one on one up front. And they're able to get to the quarterback. They've got some serious work to do to keep that last one from messing up this drive. Second and 19. Looking for a man. It's Shager. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. With the catch, it's Perry. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. Really nice job by the defense there. You're trying to force the quarterback to throw the football in front of you and allow your guys to square up and make a tackle out in space. you got to force the ball carrier to do something special after the catch. Not able to do it there. So really nice tactic by the defense. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, then they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt, they got to show up. Th these are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football. Give to the running back. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Now looking for that first down on third and short from the 26. They'll stick to the ground looking for the marker. They were all over him. Nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. Man, this is a defense that prides themselves on stopping the run, and that is a huge statement on their opponent's opening drive of the game. Third and short, they don't just get a stop. They get a tackle for loss. That sends a very clear message that they're going to be the more physical side today. 
Takes a handoff. It's Sims. Just sort of a relentless run, getting everything that was available to him, and they'll mark him down at the 40. Might as well stick with him. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. That'll be enough for the first down. They'll mark it at the 48. The Rainbow Warriors come to the line with a fresh set of downs. All right, well, look, I know the defense was feeling real good about their run D coming into this one and how they've been playing up to this point, but finally, David, the offense breaks through and they finally generate something positive on the board. And I can't tell you how easy it is. When you're going to throw the ball consistently, and I know it, I'm going to pin my ears back and I'm going to get to the quarterback. It makes life really easy on a defensive line. But when you can have balance, now the defense doesn't know what's coming. They need more of this if they're going to be successful on offense. Didn't have anything working and just had to throw it away on third down. And the Rainbow Warriors decide to punt it away. Well, the quarterback and his intended target just simply didn't have the timing there. The ball falls incomplete on third, now setting up fourth down. Offense making its way onto the field to start the drive. Hand off to the single back. Not a lot going on there. Picked up a couple. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. He's looking to throw. Grabbed over the middle. It's Smith. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. Here on third down for this offense. They'll try to power their way ahead. Tackled after picking up the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll give it to him again. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow at second and seven. Tried to pound it on first down, now back to the line. Gonna run it, it's Baxter. And look, this guy has some serious moves and he tried all of them and still didn't get loose. A third down try for the offense. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Wide open downfield. All the way in for the touchdown. And what did I start for this offense? The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. Ready to try the point after. And the PAT makes it 7-0. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they cover the final 54 yards with the explosive play in the passing game for six. And he takes this from inside the five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Hawaii has it back as they send the offense onto the field. Leaves it with the running back. Got enough for the first down and wants more. Hit the gas, kid, wide open ahead. Just like that, a huge gain, and they've got it inside the 10. They'll mark it up the eight. That was just an open alley for that back. I don't think he was touched once before the tackle. So he wouldn't even been down with two-hand touch? No. Didn't take them long to get into the goal-to-go -go package. Here they are on first down. They'll try to get it in with the run. Not much room. He gets one down to the seven. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. To the air. It's Shager. Looking to the end zone. Touchdown, Hawaii! And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. Did not take long to get into the end zone. Now let's see if this 
gets this offense to hit overdrive. Well, we may have a situation here. We might have points, more points, and more points. You keep putting drives together like that, that quickly chewing up that much yardage. Defenses are going to have to get something figured out. On to attempt to try. Winner is on for the extra point. Right down the boulevard. Quick strike offense on that three play scoring drive. And they close the deal with the seven yarder for the score. From inside the 10 yard line, he'll bring it back. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. And now this offense will take the field again. They'll throw it on first down. Caught near the sticks. It's Ross. That's the kind of play that can really get you going as they get it out to the 36. Now, this is the way to come out of the gate and set the tone back and forth and already inside a minute to go in the first. Hand off to the home back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. Looking for a crease. It's Morris. Just will this way for a couple out to the 35. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Throwing right. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. The punt team makes its way onto the field. Third and long situations are really hard to convert. The defense knows it's going to be passed. The pass rushers are getting upfield. You're under pressure. You don't have timing. And as a result now, fourth down. Cover guys do their job, and they get him stopped at the 22-yard line. Hawaii ready to go back to work on offense. How big is this drive? Scored a touchdown the last time they had it. Defense gets a stop, and now it's up to them in a tie game. All right, so if you're the offensive coordinator here, let's dial it in. Who are your best matchups and best playmakers to take advantage of this golden opportunity? Yeah, and I'm interested to see this defense, too. Like, the momentum is clearly not in your favor. How do you get it back? How do you make a big play? Do you be more aggressive here to try to get the football back to your offense? Entertaining first quarter, and we are all locked up after one as we take a quick look at some stats. We've got a good one going here and looking forward to keep those vibes rolling here in the second. Somebody needs to make a play here. It's third and long from the 26. Going to take a shot. Balls it in. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football. Had time, spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense, understanding what the defense is giving them and creating the explosive play. The Rainbow Warriors will hustle to the line. The give from the gun. And a decent game there before the defense makes the stop. Picked up some yardage on the ground. Now here comes second down. Looking downfield, it's Shager. Finds his man down the middle. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. And the Rainbow Warriors are flying down the field. Good job by the receiver there not to run into coverage, but to find a spot that the quarterback can throw him the ball. Yeah, on those types of routes, Reese, they say if you're looking, you're booking. So if that's man coverage, the receiver's staring at the quarterback all the way across the field. That time, the receiver didn't give the quarterback his eyes, so they were on the same page. They both knew it was zone, and they executed that perfectly. Relying on that running game, and it works for about three yards to the 31. Gives it to the back on the draw. Offenses gain momentum with third down conversions like that. They've got it at the 25. The Rainbow Warriors will snap it on first and 10. To the ground with the back. Blast his way ahead, but not much room. A pickup of one to the 24. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Just when they're looking run, now up top. Right through his hands and incomplete, and he'll want that one back. It'll be third down. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. 
And they did not let him get to that first down line. It'll bring up a call here. And on fourth down, they'll try to put three on the board. Didn't make him sweat at all. It's good. And guys, after the field goal, now they have the lead. After that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. This drive will start from the 19-yard line. Looking for room, it's Morris. Got it across the 20 and out to the 23, a pickup of four. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Trying the left side. They bring him down and he's gonna lose a yard on that one. Let's see what they do on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. It's caught downfield. And they'll spot it at the 45. That's good enough for a first down. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Now a first down from the 45-yard line. He's going to pass. Caught over the middle. It's Smith. Nice completion here to this wide receiver, and you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offense's success. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They're getting this guy lathered up. And a nine-yard gain on first down leaves him with second and short. And here comes play number six of the drive. Jet sweep trying to get the edge. Nice move there. And they'll bring him down, but not before he picks up the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. They wrestle him down after he picks up six inside the 20 and down at the 18. I know the passing game sells and the passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards of pop on the ground, but it will be very successful. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Running the red zone. It's Morris. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten from the 13. He's looking to throw it. Let's it go to the end zone. He was open, he had it, and he dropped it. Would have been a touchdown. Instead, it's second down. Man, these windows get tighter down here in the red zone, and those catches are a little bit more contested. More people need it. Headed to the end zone, and they're in for a touchdown. Timely decisions, effective play management helps him get in the end zone after that marathon drive. And every time the offense needed to play, boom, they got it. I mean, you think about it. Whether it was a small run, small pass, whatever they needed, they got it done, and they popped it in for the score. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. So it's an 80-yard drive. And the capper came on the run to the end zone from the 13. On the move from inside is five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Hawaii offense returns to the field. Jesse, they had to kick a field goal the last time they had it. Yeah, and oftentimes early in games, you're just trying to find your rhythm. Some things work, some don't on that first drive, David. Be interesting to see what happens here in the second drive. Yeah, you got a feel for the defense now. You understand what they're trying to do, what their game plan is. Now you get to go into phase two of your game plan. Facing a third down and short from the 26. Well, it's a nice job by the quarterback getting the ball out of his hands quickly on that RPO. He saw something he liked, just not on the same page with his receiver. 
And the Rainbow Warriors have enough for the first down. It's a nice run there to get the first down. I gotta tell you, I'm impressed with the stable of backs and the weapons this offense has. A lot of different guys can touch the football in a variety of ways, but they've been running it very, very well in this game so far. Man, I want to be a running back in this offense. When you take that hand off to the right, you see that blocking and all the holes open up? That's a good sight for a running back. You've heard of read and react. I think the defense read it. They just didn't react very well. Well, when you got that kind of a line, just all that push they're getting on that right side, they just pushed the defensive lineman back, got in the linebacker's lap. So, man, oh, man, it was, it was brutal up front. That's about as close as you can get to that marker, and it will be second and just a few breaths away from the first down. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. After the incompletion on second down, it's third and in inches. They'll try to get the first through the air. And he just throws it away. That is not what you're looking for on third down, fourth down coming up. Less than a yard to go for a first down, and the offense will remain on the field. On fourth down, they'll run it, looking for the first. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. The Rainbow Warriors come to the line with a new set of downs. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Couldn't make the play on first down. They'll try it again, second and 10 from the 27. They'll throw again after the incompletion. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. This defense just can't get off the field. The offense unstoppable. Throws for the tight end. He's missed three in a row now with that last incompletion. Now on fourth down, they'll try to come away with three. They've already put one field goal on the board. This one will need to be well struck from 44 yards out. It is true as he puts three on the board. Putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. He'll bring it back from inside the 15. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. They'll get things started on this drive from the 24. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. Working the middle of the field, and it's complete. And he laid the lumber to stop him from getting the first down. Fires to the tight end. And how about that catch and run? So dangerous, this guy. The offense quickly calls timeout to stop the clock. Here they come, first and 10 from the 48. Looking to move it through the air. Got it in the middle, it's Ross. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. He wants to throw. Finds his tight end. No chance to run, but still a good game. That last completion sets him up on second down. He's looking to throw. Catch in the middle. It's Ross. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. The offense calls timeout. It's the second one they've used this half. They've marched to the red zone, and here they go. And it's caught. Touchdown. Man, diving catches always look sweet, but they look even sweeter when it's for a touchdown. That's shades of Desmond Howard back in the day winning a Heisman Trophy and making catches against Notre Dame. That was unbelievable. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And with the extra point, it's 21 to 13. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they finish it by firing one in from the 13 for the score. He'll bring it back from inside his five. 
Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Hawaii has it back as they send the offense onto the field. Now you find out just how much of a gunslinger you are. Will you roll the dice here late in the half, David? And you know the defense is going to be really, really conservative, so I think it's an opportunity to be able to take a shot, see how much of a chunk you can get before then you decide really, Jesse, how you want to finish the half. You just can't turn it over and throw a pick if you're the quarterback here. You have got to be so smart if you're going to be aggressive with your decision. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Men, nice to see you actually showed up for today's broadcast in paradise, given all there is to do there in Honolulu. And it's been said football is a game of inches, and guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen in panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. And with that, let's say aloha once again to the guys inside Aloha Stadium. Number and the Rainbow Warriors will kick it away to crank up the second half. From inside the 10, here he comes. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down in the 26. And the offense takes the field, ready to go back to work. Snagged in the middle, it's Ross. And he might be known for one pitch, but that was a sure and heavy tackle on the tight end. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt. He was going down. Great job, form tackle. In the gun and looking to throw on third down. Complete downfield. They'll get him on the ground at the 46, and it'll be a first down. You know, Jesse, they threw that to him in double coverage, and I, I like that sometimes because you can't let the defense just dictate what you're going to do. No, they're going to make sure he gets his, Reese, no doubt about it. And they're going to force it over to him, hoping that he can make a play, and knowing that he can, but as a defense, you got to be careful doubling him because that means somebody else is wide open. A third and long coming up here. Back to the air one more time. Another incompletion on third down. They bring the punter onto the field now. Well, I know this offense came out here in the second half hoping to build on their one possession lead, but after that incompletion, I think the smart thing is to just kick it away here. Let your defense play and try to get it back to you without giving up any points. Wants to throw on first down. Fires to the wideout. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Scanning the field. It's Shager. They're trying to get to it. And a little too much adrenaline on that throw. Never gave his receiver a chance. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Pocket starts to collapse. Didn't have much of a choice. Just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. The Rainbow Warriors will bring the punt team onto the field. Defense has been looking so good on this drive so far. They already set up third and long, and now they take all the throws away down the field. Great job in coverage. Great job reading the QB's eyes. So there's nowhere for him to go with it. He's got to throw it away. They're going to throw it to start the drive. Catch in the middle. It's more. My old coach said, you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there. Take the positive yards, and I'll never complain. The give to the back. Fakes his man out. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. Bunch formation for these receivers. To the air on first down. It's incomplete, and trust me, you will not see that very often from this guy. It's second down. He's looking to throw. He makes the stop almost as soon as he catches it, and they're short of the first down. Now trying to keep this drive alive on third and long from the 45. From the gun, wants to pass. Makes the grab. It's Ross. Knocked down immediately, but a big gain down to the 45. 
Really nice job there by the quarterback, understanding it's blitz, and not just that it's blitz, but knowing whether it's man coverage or zone coverage behind the blitz. You've still got to know where your answer is going to be based on what the defense is doing in the back end, and he add the answer to the test. Unleashes one deep. It's caught. It's a touchdown. And how about the offense? They spread them out. Everybody spread wide. Easier to read a defense when you do that. They find the matchup they want, and they get rewarded with the score. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point splits the upright to 28-13. 76 yards on the drive for the touchdown. And they top it off with a 31-yard toss for six. Here he comes from inside his own five. Lowers that shoulder, delivers the blow. He only needs a sliver of daylight. They use the sideline as their friend and finally get him out of bounds on the return at the 47. Comes out throwing on first down. Receiver looks it in, it's complete. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. He's gonna pass. Can't hang on, and he'll tell you he really should have made that catch, and he had an opportunity right in the middle. It'll be second down. After the incompletion, they go back up top. He got his hands on it, but couldn't hold on to it. What a time that would have been for their first pick of the game. Guys, this offense is already reeling down. Multiple possessions really need to cash in on this drive. Can't make the play on the interception, and man, they were looking for their first pick of the game. Instead, it'll be fourth down. And no shot at a return here as the punt goes out of bounds. First down here for the offense. Trying to start the drive with a pass. Almost had the completion, just missed it. That incompletion leads to second down and 10. It'll be a draw. Picks his way ahead, pick up a three, and gets it to the 20-yard line. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Grab near the marker, it's Smith. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Well, we know this guy is special. And because of that, his quarterback is looking to him on critical down and distances. There on that third down, there was no question. It wouldn't have mattered if he was single covered, double covered, man zone. That's where he was going with it. And the big time playmaker outside picks up the first. After the strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? From the gun, wants to pass. Got it in the middle, it's Moore. Oh, he just handled it poorly, and it's a fumble. Once that ball was loose, offense didn't have a chance. Defenders everywhere, it's a turnover. Man, that's a big mistake, and listen, I'm, I'm still gonna force feed my playmakers. If I'm that quarterback, I'm that OC, I'm, I'm walking over to that guy, like, listen, it's okay. It's a little bit of a mistake. We're still gonna find ways to get you the rock. You're too important to this team not to give you the football. Hawaii ready to go back to work on offense. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front, they got to do a better job getting blocks and establishing this running game. And how easy does football become if you're the more physical team? If you can threaten the run and then, then run play action, it opens up the whole offense at your disposal. They'll get him stopped at the 34. He's got 10 yards on that one and a first down. The give to the running back from the shotgun. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Back to throw, it's Shager. He's got it. A nice job by the QB there, timing out that drag throw. It's zone coverage, so he's got to make sure he gets it to his receiver in a window to allow him to catch the ball and then turn it upfield. 
needs to grab. They will score. Touchdown, Rainbow Warrior. You got to start cutting into this lead somewhere. And now the question, will they have enough time? But that's step one. You got to get that first score. You got to get back in the ball game and get some of that momentum back on your side. You still got more work to do, but step one accomplished. Lining up for the PAT. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And the score comes on a touchdown pass covering 28 yards. Let's see what he can get done from inside his own 15. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. On the ground, it's Morris. These little gains can start to add up as he gets it up to the 34. They can really be aggressive after that last play at second and three. Quick release by the QB. Didn't pick up a lot there, moved it forward just a few. And after that last run, we'll see if they keep it on the ground on third. We're trying to throw the wide receiver screen to pick up that first down, but the defense just too much speed getting to the ball carry on that one. In his sophomore season, he's really learned to find that running room. They'll throw it on first down. Gets it out fast. No chance to run, but still a solid pickup on that one. Trying to get a rhythm in the passing game. Now on second down. Quick handoff. And he's able to bounce off one tackle, but still not a whole lot of running room. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? They'll try to bully their way for the first. Across the 25, he's got room. Strolls into the end zone for a touchdown. And to have a rushing touchdown of that type of yardage, you've got to be able to make something miss. It's one thing to get into the second level, but can you make that last defender miss? And you saw it on that play. Once he was in the clear, with his speed, he was gone. Getting set for the point after. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And how about that for a capper? A 43-yard run for six. On the run from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Hawaii offense returns to the field. Using his legs, it's Sims. No, oh, he got loose. They get it out to the 36 and on the move after a pickup of 15. That's a way to give yourself some breathing room. Now the second play of the drive from the 36. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. The number one job is to protect their quarterback, and they did not. They did not, but my number one job as a defensive lineman is to attack your quarterback and get him on the ground just like this, get in the sack, rattle this guy as much as you can, as many hits as possible on these quarterbacks. A big play for the defense with the first down sack. Now, advantage D as the offense comes up on second down. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. They bring him down, but a solid pick up to put them in position to pick up a first down. They're about to wear this punter out. He's already been out four times, staring at a fifth if they can't move the chains. Trying to get to it. And they fail to hook up on third down. And the Rainbow Warriors will call on their punt team. And offensively, we know it's hard throwing the ball in the third and long situations because the defense can play big zone coverages. They got a lot of guys with their eyes on you, so the QB had no shot there. Nobody open. Nice job not forcing it, not risking a turnover, just throwing it away. They're going to open this drive with a pass. Grabbed in the middle, it's Ross. And as they get him to the ground, clock running looks as if time will expire here in the third. 
The modest gain on the completion really shows why you want to run the zone, make him execute, and rally to the ball. 100%. Zone eyes on the quarterback. I see him throw the football, break on it, go make tackles, live to fight another day. As we start the fourth quarter, it'll take a pretty sizable comeback to win this one. Second down coming up. Now the play fake. Unloads to the right. Just masterful working that sideline and getting the toe down for the catch. And he just continues to put up numbers, and that number is now over 300. This guy just throws completions, man. The ball doesn't seem to touch the ground. He's back there. He's making the right reads. Right now, he is locked into what this defense is trying to do. Hand off from the shotgun. Good pick up on that play. It'll bring up second and four. Win with the running game on first down. Now back at it. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. He gets it to the 38-yard line, and they'll pick up a fresh set of downs. How aggressive will they get on first and 10? Well, the defense didn't blitz. They didn't have everybody in gaps, and the offensive line took advantage at the point of attack, getting some push, opening up a hole, and the offense ripping off a nice run there. Look, you can't take away everything, right? So you give them that and rally and make a solid tackle. Yeah, and a lot of times in zone coverage, I, I like when I can get all the eyes on the quarterback. I like when I can see the routes and see him develop in the middle. And you could tell they had keys on the tight end. He wasn't going anywhere after he caught that football. That's caught. It's Ross. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. Eighth play of the drive coming up. Boy, the defense really needed to get off the field there, and they just couldn't do it, and it's a fresh set of downs. Man, that hurts. When you're trailing late in the ball game, you need those stops, and you get them to third down. You get them to those critical points. Now they get the first down. You don't have many left. You better get aggressive. Tight end finds a soft spot. That completion takes them down to the seven-yard line, and they are ready to strike. They'll try to get it through the air. Unleashes to the end zone. And good coverage there to knock it away and deny the score. So now on comes the field goal unit. And if they can make this and turn it into a three-score game, they'll have this one all but locked up. And the try is no good. And after the missed field goal, guys, the lead's still at 15. Well, everybody in the stadium thought that was an automatic three. Not so fast. Bad miss by the kicker. Hawaii has it back as they send the offense onto the field. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. Don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. Off the deflection, missed a great chance to force the turnover. Instead, it'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Looking to throw, it's Shager. Zings it complete to the right. They get him down after he makes the catch. Passing game very effective on second down. What about here on third? From the gun, wants to pass. He's got his man. And he was knocked down immediately, short of the line to gain. They'll have to make a decision here. Down by multiple possessions, you can't come up empty on this drive. They'll go for it on fourth down. Gets it to the 42-yard line, and that's a first down. The Rainbow Warriors have their offense in high gear. Unloads to the wideout. He's got it. Dragged down to the turf, but not before getting the first down. 
Well, down two possessions. Good news is you get the completion. Bad news, though, did not get out of bounds. You know right now, saving the clock. That is at a premium for this offense. Bennett slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge game if he could have held on. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And the Rainbow Warriors in the hurry up. On third down, going up top. Fires to the middle. It's complete. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Well, trailing what they are right now in the fourth quarter, their execution offensively is just going to have to be at a premium. You can't afford a lot of incompletions at this point. Everybody is going to need to be on the same page moving forward. Looks as if they didn't get it off in time. It'll be a delay of game. Delay of game. game. Offense. Offense. So frustrating to see an offense lose track of the play clock and pick up a penalty like that. Wide out in motion. Wants to throw. It's Shager. He wants it all. Fires into traffic, intercepted. It doesn't get any better for your defense. You know exactly the situation in the fourth quarter. Everything in your favor. Don't let them make big plays. How about you make a big play? Nice job getting the interception. It's not icing on the cake yet, but it's getting pretty close. They're backed up, first and ten from inside their own five, and they'll try to get this drive started. They want that clock to run. What a nifty run there to pick up the first down. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. They're going to go right back to him on first down. On the move, it's a 30. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. They'll snap this one from the 32. It's first down. Gonna run it. It's Baxter. Just working and poking and prodding and finding his way up to the 36. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. They'll try it over the left side. Got enough for the first. At the 40, there he goes. Oh, look out. Sprints into the end zone for a touchdown. I love the execution on that play. Great blocking up front just to get the ball carrier an opportunity in the second level of the defense. And then at that point, it was make a guy miss and use the speed. That was a perfectly executed play. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And he finished with a 64-yard sprint to the house. He'll return it. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Hawaii ready to go back to work on offense. This offense has pretty much been stuck in the mud the entire game. It's been a frustrating performance, Jesse. Yeah, listen, you can't be hanging your head just yet. This game's not over. This coaching staff is still evaluating their players. So if you're on the field right now, you've got to finish this game. You've got to try to prove something to them.
Well, the game is over, to be clear. They're not coming back. But I hear what you're saying. Keep fighting. Keep showing your coaches it matters. And maybe find something positive here late that you can build on for the weeks to come. This offense lines up feeling awfully good after that big play. Going up top on first down. He looks that one in nicely. And he left the first defender grabbing at air before he was finally tackled. Trying to get everybody set with the clock still running. He wants to throw it again. Fires to the wideout. Got him downfield. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. They've done a really good job creating the matchups they want out of the spot. Yeah, dude, get that guy matched up on a linebacker. That guy matched up on a safety. Keep him away from the corners by putting him in the slot. Get him the football. Let him make plays. They're looking to pass from the red zone. Grabbed over the middle. It's Perry. And listen, the defense playing really conservative, right? You got the lead, but here's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get sacks. I got to get to the quarterback. Like, I got to make sure I'm getting him, knocking him off the spot. Patting my stats, by the way. Got a lot of sacks late in games. We had a big lead, but that's okay. That's what you're supposed to do. Keep competing, defense. Wants to throw on third. And here comes the heat, and they get home, and they get him at the 21. And, man, is that a just indictment of the day. Your quarterback getting drilled late in the football game. This offense has sputtered. They haven't found any kind of good rhythm. They haven't done things that, that really gives your coach confidence and, and makes you want to believe in them. This offense has a lot of work to do before their next football game. On fourth down, they'll throw for it. Makes the grab. It's McBride. He will not pick up the first down, the desperation play, and that one might have sealed their fate. They'll give it to the back. Finds just enough daylight to work his way up to the 19-yard line. Second down. 